When you hear, hey, your visa will be ready. You will travel abroad. Everybody, amen. See, everybody good. South Africa, Ghana, Senegal, they are doing better than Nigeria. Put it down, put it, 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 Hello, friends, welcome to my channel today. My name is Nancy Amari. Good morning. Please just don't mind that I'm looking this way. I've not really taken my bath. I just want to come around here again today. I they vex. And that is because the average Nigerian is always vexing. The average Nigerian, they always they vex. The society is not even helping matters. And I make everybody's spirit body, they hurt. I want to talk about South Africa, Ghana. Yes, Ghana again. Senegal and Nigeria. I want to talk about it again. I want to talk about it. You see, eh? We need to talk. Why? Because talking is free. If you talk, you go die. If you don't talk, you go still die. So the best thing not to do it is to talk. You see this country, Nigeria, where we did so. There is nothing in this country. Yes. I no carry water for mouth they talk. Out. There is nothing in this country called Nigeria. The only thing that you have as a Nigerian is your life. That is as long as you are alive first. That is the only thing you have as a Nigeria. No matter whatever you're doing, you don't have anything in Nigeria. Now, what am I trying to say? South Africa, Ghana, Senegal, they are doing better than Nigeria. Than Nigeria. Where is this coming from? You know, I made a video, my last video, talking about um, Ghana and uh, Senegal, you know, and comparison. You know, Ghanaians took to my comment sections and dropped so many comments. That comment actually made me realize that truly, we as Nigerians, even though we cover ourselves, let's tell ourselves the truth. Someone took to the comment section and said that um, Nigeria is just a giant of nothing but populations. That Nigeria is giant of population. On the second thought, I started reasoning, reasoning about it. True, true. What's in there this Nigeria, if not the population? Please, tell me. What is in this Nigeria, if not population? It is population. What is good in this Nigeria? The only thing we have as Nigerians is our life. As long as you are alive, death never come meet you. Whether not natural death or death from government, you are alive. That's the only thing you have as Nigeria. God bless Nigerians with so much strength. As in, Nigerians are not lazy. Nigerians are so hardworking that if they go to other countries, they will not even put half of that, their strength into the work they do outside the Nigeria. But they will live comfortably. They will earn a good living. But Nigerians will be in Nigeria. You, they will struggle with Remain even they will use their blood to hustle to struggle instead of them to feed well or live well even ants live better than nigerians because at least ants see free foods everywhere they go but nigerians no matter how hard that they work they don't see the free food what will you even use in comparing nigeria and other countries other countries they have steady lights we don't have any steady lights in nigeria other countries, they have good roads. We don't have any good road in Nigeria. Other countries, they, when they protest, their government listens to them when they protest. But our, oh, what happened? When Nigerians protested, what, what ended it up was killing. Instead of the government to listen to, to, to her citizens, the government chose to kill her people. But other countries would choose to listen to their own people. Safety is not guaranteed. Education is not guaranteed. Health is not guaranteed. Road, nowhere. Light, nowhere. Internet, nowhere. Good food, no. Good water, no way. Tell me, what are you enjoying in Nigeria? If there is anything you are enjoying in Nigeria, let me tell you, if we are actually enjoying in this Nigeria, then nobody 
who want to travel outside Nigeria. When you go to churches today, one of the major points in the church, I mean, sorry, one of the major prayer points in churches today is traveling abroad. When you hear, hey, your visa will be ready, you will travel abroad. Everybody, amen. Everybody will shout amen, including me. We sit down here. Yes. If there is something in Nigeria, why should traveling abroad be a prayer point for you? Even those people that have made it, that are living large or living comfortably in Nigeria, they still want to travel abroad. Have you seen? Nigeria is Nigeria's problem. Government is government's problem. Nigerians are Nigeria's problem. Government is Nigeria's problem. Nigerians are government's problem problem which, which one are we going to talk which one will go leave which one will go talk which one? south africa is better than nigeria they know they talk and two times i don't carry water for mouth they talk and. ghana is better than nigeria truly let's tell ourselves the truth see even if we like let's be pampering it the more we pamper and the more they give the give them reason to even do more do more of their evil chad and Cameroon, they are living larger than we Nigerians. They are enjoying larger than we Nigerians. Our oil, we are they taking them, to, taking them to. Is that not why I IPOD uh, OP is fighting for freedom for the for the for the country of, for some you know tribes? That is the reason. Not in the Nigeria, eh? Not in the Nigeria, yes. Make we talk and see be. We no go die. If you die, say if you talk, dying. After all, heroes in the past, we didn't kill them. They were fighting for our freedom or for our rights. Even when it comes to marriage, let me enter my pep talks. When it comes to marriage, Nigeria need a, need a favor women. The women are living in in depression. Do you get? They are living in depression because the society, the country, is, does not have any law or any good thing supporting or backing women. When it comes to child, children trafficking, child trafficking, society cannot even help her children. What mother watches her child go through so much negativity or negativities and you can't even help your child it's not that you don't have the power to do that you have the power to do it you have the power to do it Did you see the road? Did you see the road comparison of Nigeria and these other countries? The least the government can give is good road, light, and job opportunities. The least these bad roads Nigerians, Nigeria have, the government also go through that road. Though not often times because they prefer to go by air. We poor man no fee afford. If you are a Nigerian watching me, where you are now, tell yourself the truth. You are regretting being a Nigerian, living in Nigeria. And if you are a Nigerian living outside Nigeria, you are regretting being a Nigerian, but then you are outside the country enjoying the facilities of all those other countries if those countries did not accommodate you living there what would you have done you would have come back to nigeria and come and suffer with the nigerians living in nigeria in see 
those countries made their their own country conducive accommodating welcoming made their country a home for their people they say there is nowhere like home but this nigeria it no be like that nowhere like home you know you know you know work out for nigeria here if they see let me tell you 99.9 percent .9 of nigerians if they had their will or wish to choose which country they will be born into they no go choose to be born into this country called nigeria including me and my children sometimes i say i say hey to say i get to say i get power to choose where they bomb me up they for not bomb me for nigeria lie lie they for not bomb me what's not they enjoy here you go hustle hustle nigerians they hustle from morning most nigerians leave home by 6 or 7 a.m in the morning they come back sometimes 6 7 8 9 p.m in the night almost more than 12 hours working nothing to show for it landlord will still come chase them out for house rent and uh, school fees they will still chase children out for school fees but in other countries eh, in south africa the government even give the people pay them they pay them salaries they pay them money at the end of the month for being just to be a citizen you know, if you can't they work say that one can't they added advantage outside the countries they will use that 12 hours to work like two or three or more jobs giving them more money but nigeria you go sit down and work from that 12 hours or god will cost you or god madame will cost you you go go you know go see better salary salary self will not come on time if it comes the whole market before you even say jack robinson everything the money has finished now let me tell for example what is happening currently in the country in this country now things are so expensive inflation on price on prices of commodities of goods and services happening now especially in nigeria it's happening in other countries but nigeria own is too much the high rate of dollar but do you know what salaries are still stagnant no salary you the people's salary we are not increased but the market prices hiked in price how do you expect these people to live even if they go to village won't they eat because development is coming is taking place rapidly so people's lands that they could have cultivated it, we don't have much lands because people are now building so where are they going to eat from if everybody should pack themselves to the village so where will they cultivate how will they eat our governments they are not helping us we need to talk we need to say the truth other countries south africans um Ghanaians, Senegal, Senegal, or Senegalese, they're enjoying more than us. Nigeria is no more giant of any con of, uh, of any Africa. Please, guys, hope I have made my point. I support my Ghanaians. What you said about Nigeria being Nigeria being the, the giant of population is true. But then how do we go about it? We need help. We are humans. We need help from other countries. The only help of our country, our governments always ask for is help of debt. Money debt. Money. Now they ask for help. We need help. We need help. Please, guys. What help? What do you think can make this our country better? If you are a Nigerian, what do you think can make this country better? If you are not a Nigerian, please drop in the comment section. What do you guys think? How what can what can take place for this country to be better? Where did we go wrong? Who did we offend? It has trended for decades. Enough is enough. Please, guys, till I come your way again. Please remember to share this video. And please, don't stop talking it. Please, keep talking it, okay? Because we are fighting for the right of our children. Till I come your way again, I remain your host, Nancy Amadi. Remember, it's good to keep safe, psychologically, 
physically, financially, materially, sexually, emotionally, spiritually, and all the lily 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 the lees. Did I add governmentally? Bye.